Howdy, Steve here, Wilderness333, and uh, happy Thanksgiving. I'm going to be uh, covering a tag here, but I'm going to do it Thanksgiving style. I'm going to be covering a tag from Nighthawk6376. He tagged me on my favorite use of the Blue Hill Stove. Um, I don't know what my favorite use is, but I do know it's Thanksgiving, and I do know that my favorite Thanksgiving dish is the mashed potatoes. So uh, I'm mashing some potatoes up here. And I've got my Blue Hill still going and some water. We're going to get them in and get them going. And I'm doing this all outside. I'm going to get these cut up. And uh, I'll show you how it goes. We'll have some mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving on the Blue Hill stove. All right, and get these cut up, get them going, and I'll show you what it looks like. All right. They're uh, getting going. Water's getting hot. They'll be boiling soon. Overall, this would be super easy to do. I just carried three potatoes. Just carry three potatoes back with you. Peel them, wash them. And uh, got the blue hill going there. Good old heat. And I cut them kind of small, so not super small, but small enough that they will boil and cook quicker. And uh, we'll give this a few minutes. It's probably going to take, it might take half hour or so. And then I'll be able to mash them up. I'll throw some butter in them that I would have also carried with me. And some milk. We'll have mashed potatoes. Okay. These bad boys are boiling. Got a nice... Whoa. Almost got water in my camera. Got a nice rolling boil on those potatoes. Oh man. They're going to be awesome. We'll uh, let them do some cooking. And I'll come back. I'm going to throw some salt in there. And soon we'll drain them and mash them up for you. Okay, we've got a slower boil now, and uh, these potatoes are done. I mean, if you've never made mashed potatoes before, really the way you know they're done is if you can take a fork and stick them in there pretty easily. You can see here, that one just fell apart. My fork's going right through the potato. Those are soft and uh, ready to be mashed. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna drain them, and I've got a masher. Now you could use a fork if you were in the woods or whatever. I've, uh, I'm gonna be using this, this little masher. I'll mash them up. I'll add some milk. I'd heat that milk um, and some butter, and they're gonna be ready to go. So uh, this is an easy, super easy thing to make. You can do it on the stove just as easy if you want to do it for Thanksgiving mashed potatoes. I'm a purist. No cream cheese. No nothing but the taste of the potato, the butter, and the milk. It's all you need. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Empty this, drain it out, and mash these up, and uh, I'll show you how it turns out. Here they are. Simply mash these bad boys up, and the more you mash, the less clumpy they'll be. And that's kind of a preference, so mash them up real good. I'm going to put this camera down so I can use both hands to steady it up, but mash away. Give it a couple minutes. So after you got it mashed up, this is what you're looking like. But once you uh, pour your milk in, that's what really congeals it together. And you start getting, again, I'm not gonna be able to do this one-handed. But uh, you mix it up, and that's what brings them into that nice, kind of creamy smoothness. Actually, it is kind of working there. And now I'm gonna cut up some butter, put it in there, let it melt in. That'll be the taste. I'll be done. All right, so these are uh, these are ready. That that butter melted in. You can see it. I mean, you're not gonna be able to see, it, but it's kind of pulled in there. Still nice and hot. I am a salt fiend, so I'm gonna add lots of salt. Big holes on that salt shaker, and that's a little hot. So uh, there you go. And like I said, you know, you're adding milk. If you want them to be, I don't want to say the consistency of soup. The more milk you add, sort of the creamier or mushier they are, uh, but you get them to that good consistency, let's give them a try. It's a good mashed potatoes. A little clumpy, I didn't mix them up as well as I could have, but in my opinion, you're looking to taste the potato, you're not looking to taste cream cheese, you're looking to taste that butter, and add some more salt. Potatoes are sort of a neutralizer for salt, so it's hard to over 
salt potatoes. Mm. That's good stuff. There you go. So happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for the tag, Nighthawk6376. Go check them out. Making great. Sorry. Making great videos from Dublin. Or at least from Ireland. Um, good channel. Check them out. Thanks for that. And uh, if you have a Blue Hill stove, I don't know who has not who doesn't, and you want to continue this tag, consider yourself tagged by me. Um, I'm not going to try to figure out who does and doesn't have them and tag those on because I probably never get this video made. So uh, if you have one, you can consider uh, a tag for me if you want to do it. So favorite thing with the Blue Hill stove. Um, thanks to Sean for making them great little things. I'll put a link to his channel as well. If you want to buy one, he sells them. So there you go. Well, happy Thanksgiving. Hope you enjoy your mashed potatoes. You don't even need the turkey. You got this. You're set. <laughs> Bye.